हेलो एवरी वन होप यू ऑल आर फाइन टूडे ऑन अ बिहाफ ऑफ सी सी वी डेस्क वी कम अप विद न्यू वीडियो दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऐप नेम एज सुपर लाइफ प्लस सो बेसिकली इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्क्राइब यू दैट वॉट इज सुपर लाइफ प्लस वॉट आर इट फीचर इन फंक्शन देन विल टेल यू दैट हाउ यू इंस्टॉल ऑल योर एंड्रॉयड मोबाइल फोन एंड हाउ यू configure them to make the camera live and able to access all its feature so keep watching please like share our video and subscribe to our channel if you are a new one now super live plus is a app which is used to connect as well as control the cctv camera on your mobile phone this is the app for monitoring the cctv cameras on computer screen or a mobile screen it is also used to monitor the cameras on remote locations over the internet now if we are talking about the feature and functions then by using this app you are able to access live view of the camera and you can see the multiple channel at a time you watch the recording of the cameras you take the snapshot of the video you control the ptz camera and you can adjust the image parameter like brightness color etc so after that we'll tell you that how you install on your mobile phone and how you configure them to make the camera live and able to access all its feature so for installing the app you should click on this play store and search for super life plus okay and after that just click on it is already installed on my mobile phone so for example you want to install any app then you can you, you can just click on this and click on installed when you click on installed it will take time and after a few minute it will install automatically when it is installed automatically you find the option open okay so uh, once after installing it's the android system is out to scan that but that is secure or not once it is secure you find the option open let's click on open so so you see the you see that lot of devices added on the my mobile phone so after that this is the interface of the of the app the first thing you should do you should click on the right top corner like this okay and after that you should go on the server list like this okay and again here on the right corner you find again the three dot button just click on this and here you find the option manually add scan code to add lan search generate device short by name okay so if you are in front of the device and you want to scan the code or if somebody scan the send you a scan uh, that qr code you just click on this and it start scanning okay and you have that code in gallery just click on this and you here you find the your gallery okay after that again the second is lan search when you click on the lan search if your if your device and your mobile phone both are connected on the same network then you should click on this lan search otherwise you should click on the manually add like this okay and when you click on the serial number you find the two option ip domain name and serial number so basically serial number is the num if you want to connect by using a uh, remote location nvr by using a serial number then you should click on the serial number when you click on the serial number here you find this it asks for a serial number serial number is a number which you find when you log in your device means dvr nvr and go to the network option and find that option nat 
when you click on that over there you find a option a qr code or a serial number that serial number you should enter here so and if you want to connect by using a static ip so or a local ip address then you should click on the ip address like this okay so in my case i have a static ip just i just enter my static ip like this and again just click on device here as for a nickname you should put anything like test device okay and again it asks for a username and password please note that this is the username and the password of the device device means the device you are adding whether it may be a dvr it may be nvr whatever you are adding in my case i am using nvr so i just use username and password of that nvr please be clear and click save when it clicks save you find that it turns green so it the, it turns green it means the device is online it totally depend on the internet speed at the remote location and your mobile device and just first thing you should click on this play button like this okay camera comes online so this is the interface of the application when it comes online just double click any cam and the first thing you should click you should find so starting from the bottom right side the first option is three dot button you should just click on this three dot button if you search your record by using a ai parameter like search by event search by license plate and many more so you should click on the this option okay and the second one is a play button which is used to check the recording of the camera just click on this so in this way you check the record of the camera for example i want to check the record of the camera on friday 17 just click on this and here you find that from night to one o'clock to morning to a next day 24 hours so if i want to check uh, 4 a.m morning 4 a.m then i should go on that like this okay now you see this camera comes live and on 351.59 second okay it means the camera recording is on okay and in this way you can check the recording of the of your device now just back and the third option is a four square button just click on this by using click or clicking on this you should change the multi wheel view of the camera like this okay and the fourth is a speaker one it means if your camera is an ob in if is audio enable or is it has a speaker in built microphone or it may be speaker then click on this when after clicking on this you just you are able to hear the voice of the camera okay i can just close the and third and the final one is mic so when you click on the mic if your device is intercom enable or a, a two way audio enable then then you are able to speak with the video device just click on this my device is not supported intercom so it won't be used now here you find the many devices like i have many devices and you want to switch between the devices then you should click over here okay now here you found one two three four option it means if you if you rename the camera by using a particular name for example porch camera for example of 
uh, a store camera and you want to see the, see the, that camera and click on this so in this way you see that camera is comes with the with the name okay now after that and if you want to switch between the devices then this up above two arrow like this is this for a switch between the devices okay so that's all for this video hope you like our video thanks for watching thank you have a nice day